Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night and that you'll enjoy the video and thank you so much for watching. Just remember, it takes a strong person to stay single in a world where people will settle for anything just to say they have something. True, that's true, and yet somehow you're all on dating apps, so I guess it also takes a really annoying person that no one wants to be around. If a guy texts you and asks you to see him within 24 hours notice, say no. Even if you want to see him, even if you have no plans and you're just doing nothing, you're sitting at home being a lazy couch potato, still say no, sorry, I'm busy, but I would love to see you another time. This creates a boundary that you're not just available at his beck and call. You are an empress, a queen energy, and you deserve to have someone pre-plan something, not a last minute convenient little plan for himself. Think of the best doctors, the best restaurants, you know, the best services. You need to make a plan in advance. They're not just available for an opening. Of course, later down in a relationship, when you're more comfortable with each other and establish your commitment to one another, of course you can hang out last minute. But in the beginning, you're setting the tone and boundary that you're a high valued woman and you don't have the time of day for a guy that has no intention of putting in an effort to make a plan for you. And this is why it's still surprising to me how all of you empresses, goddesses, queens, angels and whatever else you're calling yourself are still single. He made plans in within 24 hours and you'd rather stay at home being alone? So just a question, how is that working out for you? This is how bad you ruin dating. We jump from picking up the phone, calling someone and say, hey, you wanna hang out? Let's grab something to eat. Now I need to make an appointment? I'm gonna see you one week from this Saturday? I'm trying to see you and get to know you better, not make a doctor appointment. But you keep doing what you're doing because obviously it's not working. Hey girls, I'm a professional tarologist and I'm gonna answer all of your questions. Let's see. No, he's not special. You're just making fake scenarios in your head. Next. Nope, he's not smart. You're the one keeping the conversation going and he's just answering your questions. Next. No, he's not mysterious and uh, he's just ignoring you. Next. No, he's not hot. He's just toxic. Bye! Well, ignoring everything she said, cause you know, queens and all that, she's not wrong. She's just as good as all the other tarot readers out there. Just make up whatever you want to say and people will take it for granted. Hi, quick question. So, um, who's taking one for the team and, uh, loving me? Well, not me. Your mom, maybe, cause she doesn't have another choice, but not me. And do you mean love you, love you, or subscribe to your OF account? Okay, let's see what this wonderful young lady has to say. Never take a man seriously, he will pretend he's in love with you while liking other girls' stories and entertaining them. Okay, fair enough. Also her, date a baddie. We don't cheat, we are used with the attention. I'm not sure that's what a baddie means, but sure. Also her, People be like, why are you always traveling? That's a passport to Dubai. Now I understand what a baddie is. Not what she said, but you know, unfortunately I cannot compete with a Dubai citizen. Mostly because I'm not gonna have that kind of money. And second of all, I don't own a camel that I can introduce you to. Hi, so I just wanted to understand if dating in London is just an actual house state, or am I just not cut out for it? So I was chatting to this guy and on Hinge, and then we went off Hinge, went to WhatsApp. This was like a couple of weeks ago because I was taking a break from dating. Then he popped up again the other day. Sorry about my messy room in the background. He popped up again the other day, and he's like, let's go for a date. We were chatting a little bit, so I was like, okay, cool, like, let's go for a date. And I said, let's go for a coffee date because I... I didn't say why, but I basically just like to have shorter dates and just, you know, just go on a coffee date. It's not a long, big commitment. So, however, he messaged me this. So we were talking about this lunch date thing, and I, he said, do you, what do you not eat? I said, I'll eat anything. He said, also, I want to meet for coffee first. Um, I suggested coffee uh, in general, didn't say anything about a lunch. He said, let's do lunch. Then he said, actually, let's just do coffee. I was like, okay. Um, he, he said, I'm sure you're delighted, but a lunch is a big commitment if it's not a vibe. Okay. Um, and then he said this, I'll take you for lunch after if I fancy you. <laughs> 
And at first I was like, yeah, okay, I kind of get it. Like, yes, spend too many long dates with people that I, where I wasn't feeling it. You know, no one wants to spend loads of time or pay for an expensive lunch with people that they're not really very into. You just don't want to waste your Saturday doing that. Um, however, the more I thought about it, the more I was just like, there's just something wrong about that comment. It just doesn't feel right. It just doesn't sit well with me. And I spoke to my friend about it and she said something that I was just like, yeah, this is, this is, it's just not very gentlemanly of him to say that because this is immediately setting me up to be in a position where at the end of the coffee, it's going to be like, oh. Ooh, is he gonna ask to have lunch with me? Or is he not gonna have lunch with me? And if I, if he says, yes, let's have lunch, then I've gained his, you know, approval. And if, if he says no, then, uh, oh, he doesn't like me. I wasn't good enough. It already sets me up to be in this dynamic, this weird, like, vibe where I have to, there's gonna be a point at the end of the day where I'm just gonna either feel or because he's not liked me or because I've just have had to prove myself to this date just doesn't feel right and it's not very gentlemanly and I just don't know is this me just being sensitive or is this like weird yeah I had to speed this up a bit because it was going on forever it's only weird because he said out loud what you were thinking that's why we were talking about coffee days from the beginning you could argue it's not very gentlemanly of him to say that out loud but still that's the whole point of dating getting to know each other and based on how much you liked each other on the first date that decides if you're going on a second date or not I could also say it's weird you had to run to your friend because you can't even make up your own mind if you want to go on a date or not It genuinely upsets me so much when a girl that I love is like, oh yeah, the guy I'm dating, but then in all reality, they're not dating. They just made out at a bar one time and she slowly but surely started spending the night at his house often. <laughs> like if, if a guy is not taking you on dates, actively courting you, making plans, then you're not dating. You're just having slumber parties. And you can have slumber parties with a friend. Like, what differentiates him from just a friend that you have fun with? Other than maybe you're attracted and you hook up physically. But, like, no. Like, I need the effort. And I get it. Some people eventually get married after doing the whole just, like, slumber party thing. Like, they never actually date. But that just couldn't be me. It could not be me. I'm sorry. Oh no, there's no need for you to be sorry. I get it, it can never be you. And that's fine. But just as much as I don't care, I'm pretty sure the girls we are talking about, they also don't care. In the meantime, while you're posting about them, they're in long-term relationships, and like you said, some of them are getting married. But who needs a solid relationship where you can find love and understanding anyway? When you can be alone forever waiting to go on dates. Maybe that can never be me as well. But I would rather have my friends be happy no matter how they got to be happy. Why is it when you put boys together, they just lose all composure and act like little children? The problem is to me, they know they're being filmed. They know they're going to see it. So it's almost like stop playing up to like, Ugh. it made me have an ick with the, all of them. I to know, be it's doing. true. I was it's like, true. you're all losers. <laughs> So we're all losers because we understand the notion of friendship, the notion of brotherhood. We don't even care if we're filmed or not, just as we don't care if he's giving you the ache or not. We're doing whatever, we're talking about whatever. We don't need to talk about Susan when she's in the bathroom, and when she's coming back we're gossiping about Julia and the shoes she bought. We can say whatever we want to each other, and we can do whatever we want to each other, we're still best friends the next day. If that is what is giving you the ache, even better. One more reason for us to be best friends. We are like children when we're together. Great. That was the last time we were 100% happy. Why would we ever want to get rid of that? Bro! <laughs> See, now I'm confused. You're all complaining that you cannot walk outside that night. And now we're doing this. Or even better, you're doing this. <laughs> Hello? Hello. You remember when you wanted me, I didn't want you because I wanted someone else who wanted me. Oh yeah, I remember. Now they don't want it me anymore. Do you still want it me? Because I'm available now. No, they took to me.
All right, and that got us to the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I still read every comment. Unfortunately, I can't find the time to respond to everyone. As always, I do hope you enjoy the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.